Hi guys, welcome to Real Therapy Fishing. Today we're going to be making a lobster pot. This is going to be a very cheap, very simple uh, lobster pot. We've got this from the range. This is a laundry basket. Discounted as well. No, discounted, discounted, yes. That was supposed to have been 9.99. It was 4.99 we paid for that, didn't That's we? Correct. So, so we're going to see if we can build a lobster pot out of this today and test it out. So, first of all, we have a piece of plywood. It's three quarters of an inch thick, and we mark around the side of the basket and cut to size. We have some two inch by one inch off cut box section. Now I am centre punching the box sections ready to pre drill and then working up in drill bit sizes to a 13mm piece. It's important to only drill one side of the box section and you'll see why later. Leaving about an inch gap from the edge of the ply to the box section, we can then mark our pre drilled hole with our sharpie pen, both ends of the metal, and then repeat to the other side. Now we can go ahead and drill the pre-marked wood with the 13mm drill bit. decide to use a large fold but as you can see we have decided to use threaded rod so simply thread a nut on the rod first you can then align the two holes and insert the rod through now add your second nut to the top of the rod you can now see why only one side of the box section is drilled making our job a lot easier Now turn the ply over and thread the nut down into place. Cut off the excess rod, but don't forget to save this piece for the remaining three holes. After cutting and bolting all the four rods, go ahead and tighten the nuts to secure. The next process is to find a plastic plant pot. This one is 10 inches in diameter, making it ideal for the lobster to climb through. Cut along the base with a sharp knife to remove the bottom end. With a sharpie, 
mark around the pot onto the base of the basket keeping to one end. Marking slightly inside the circle, you can provide a lip for the pot to sit onto. You can now go ahead and cut along the dotted line. Check if your pot fits snug in the hole or trim to size if need be. The next stage is to secure the pot to the base. We have used cable ties in the past and these work extremely well. Simply drill into the top section of the pot and base and attach the ties. This is optional, but we decided to add an inspection hatch and place to tie our bait to. Mark the mesh and cut to size. The next step is to cut out the base of the basket and leave an edge for the mesh to sit onto. Trim off any excess material. On one side, we need to make a hinge for access. We've used cable ties to hinge our lid. We now need to secure the trap door and we are using paracord for ease of access. Time to bring back our base and secure our basket using screws and washers. It's a good idea to pre-drill the holes so the plastic and wood doesn't split. decided to use a drawstring mesh bag to hold our bait. This is simply tied onto our inspection hatch. It's now time to add our rope. We have demonstrated with a short piece. Drilling a hole in the centre of our base, we can now tie off our rope.
So guys, as you can see, this is the lobster pot finished. Um, I'm pretty pleased with it, ain't you? Very pleased with yeah. it. And yeah. We made it literally for a fiver. I mean, that, that cost us a fiver. The plant pot we picked up, it was just in the garden. Um, a bit of mesh that we had kicking around. Again, the mesh sack. Everything we've reused, basically. Yeah. Don't we? Screws. They were in the metal shed. Metal on the bottom. Yeah. The metal metal poles on them, and that's just to give it a bit of weight. And they were about a kilo in weight. Then ones. Each. Um, yeah. So it's about yeah. two kilo there on the bottom. So, it's so I mean, pretty heavy enough. A bit of plywood we used, didn't we? It's yep. kicking around. It's all reusable. Drill bits. We we had them all. So you know, for for four ninety nine. We'll see how it goes. We'll drop it down again. Yeah. We're going to give it a little review, let you know how, how we get on with it. But yeah, we shall see. That's it. So that's us. That's another video from Real Therapy Fishing. I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. See you later, guys.